Okay, here we go. here cleaning up the motor I figured you would enjoy watching some of that I'm using some degreaser and spraying it on there and then I usually use a stainless steel wire brush and scrub it around a little bit if you let the degreaser sit on here you know for a little bit of time before you do stuff it does a lot of the magic on its own so some people ask me, you know, how do you know this is a 2.1 engine? The easiest way to check is to look right here. This is where your engine code is. If it says DH at the beginning, it is a 1.9. If it says MV, it's a 2.1. I can't really see anything on there at the moment, but I'll probably, maybe it'll show up in the video. I did find one concerning thing on this motor, which is this, this golden sticker. Oh, you say, wow, that must mean you get a free ticket to the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. Uh, you're kind of right. So <laughs> it means that this motor is a Volkswagen factory rebuild. And the problem with that is they were all rebuilt in a factory in Canada. When they brought them into the factory, they ripped them completely apart. They put all the left engine case half in one bin, right in another bin, crankshaft in a bin, camshaft in a bin. Because apparently, this is how they rebuilt American engines? I, I don't know. So they had a little problem. When they went to put the motors back together, they grabbed random case halves, random crankshaft, random, random camshaft, tried to put them together, and they didn't go because the case halves, the crank, and the cam is all matched at the factory. The engine is bored at the factory as a unit. And so now we have mismatched case halves. So their solution was bore the crank, or bore the, the case over size, and even sometimes bore the cam bore over size. So I'm definitely gonna need some oversize you know bearings for this thing as far as the crankshaft goes i may even need oversized cam bearings uh i have standard ones i don't really have any oversized ones so i'm gonna have to see if that's a problem i might have to put this rebuild on the back burner and go to the other one with the snapped off head stud as the primary rebuild so uh i'm gonna keep cleaning it and I'll let you guys know, you know, what, we, what I find out when I start ripping it apart.